came here to climb Denali because this is a big deal to me. Uh, Denali is a, it's a serious mountain. It's one of the seven summits. I mean, it's named the Great One. Uh, it's just, uh, for some it's maybe a, a, the setting sun or a sunrise or relaxing on an ocean beach, the waves lapping and the smell of salt water. Oh, it should be so nice right now. Um, but this glorious place, this majestic place, and it's just huge. And uh, the beauty of this place is just mind-blowing. I mean, I, I'm looking all around right now, and it's just, it's just, my, it just blows my mind that this is here, um, and that I'm experiencing this. Um, but several months ago, I, I got super depressed over the holidays, and it's been kind of a, a recurring struggle. Uh, about four years ago, I was, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, and, um, and I wanted to come here uh, because this mountain provides uh, a very deep, soul-searching mirror that you just get to stare at for three weeks. And it tests your mentally, spiritually, physically, uh, your endurance. Um, and I wanted to look at that mirror and, and just see what's there, you know? And I brought a little uh, a piece from the holidays that I want to take to the summit. I want to bury it there um, and just be free inside. Um, there's a verse that comes out in my head from Psalm 121 uh, that says, I will lift my eyes to the mountains. From where does my help come from? My help comes from God, the creator of heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to slip. He will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps you will neither sleep nor slumber. He will be the shade on your right hand. The sun will not smite you by day nor the moon by night. He will guard your going in and your going out from this time forth. He is the keeper of your soul. Oh, man, that's just so beautiful. And um, I wanted to come here and I wanted to look God straight in the face as high as I can climb, as high as heaven would allow me to climb. I want to look him right in the face and just tell him I love him and uh, thank him for uh, this life, for every struggle, for every high and every low, uh, because it's my life, and I want to thank him for it. Um, I want, came here to be free. Good morning, friends. It's the 23rd of September, and uh, still here in Divide, Colorado. It's a beautiful day out. It's uh, uh, Hopefully you can see behind me some of the aspen that still have their color. They don't last long here. They say it's about like a uh, two-week window or so be, uh, while they still have the color. So we just, we hit it right on here, which is great. Just finished this uh, Spiritual Life Week with Bellevue Christian School and had a great time with these students, an incredible bunch of people. And uh, that was a blessing. I appreciate those of you who are praying for me as I presented uh, the Gospel of Mark and also spoke to them uh, uh, beyond that, just uh, kind of preaching on, on the book itself. Um, we're into week one. And uh, just uh, wanted to uh, uh, see how you're doing. I appreciate some of you have emailed me, sent me some comments, and let me know of how this has uh, already started to, to knead itself into your, your heart and your soul and your mind. And uh, that's really encouraging. Keep those coming. I, I, I really do enjoy hearing that uh, feedback. And on occasion, I'll be offering some, uh, some of your uh, feedback to, uh, to our, uh, our community of uh, almost 40 people now. <laughs> Last time I think I talked to you, I said we're at 30. Uh, now we're, we're about 40 people. I keep getting emails from people saying, hey, somebody told me about this. Uh, I'm in. Uh, I want to I wanna come too. And it's, uh, it's not too late. We're going to be, uh, myself, I'm going to be uh, journeying uh, with you on this for uh, about 100 days. I've uh, committed myself to, to walking through this uh, book with you. And I'm looking forward to e each and every one of these days as I review myself and I'm uh, fed by, by God's Word itself. So, oh, that was cool. That was an osprey that just flew over. I don't know if you saw its shadow over me. That was great. Hey, on occasion, I'm also going to be uh, uh, posting some videos of uh, others who uh, have inspired me in different ways. Uh, uh, some of it relates to uh, their uh, meditation on God's Word, and, and uh, other things will, will include, uh, like uh, my friend Brad, who uh, you just saw a video of. Uh, I ran over this, uh, or ran into this. Uh, video a while back and it really inspired me you know I used to live in Alaska as many of you know and uh, I've always had a, a strange fix fixation with climbing mountains and and uh, so when I saw Brad and heard his comments about uh, climbing the mountain uh, mountain Mount Denali it 
really uh, touched me and it, uh, it really pointed to a lot of parallels that I've seen in my, my own life, especially as I've, I've uh, taken on projects, uh, challenges like uh, uh, memorizing a, a book of the Bible. Um, in many ways it, it provides, Brad says, uh, I want to climb this mountain because it, it, uh, it provides a, a window into my soul. <laughs> I love that. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I go to Scripture, because I, I, I want it to provide a window into my soul. I, I want to see what God is doing there. Um, and uh, I trust that that's what we'll, we'll encounter as we go through this book together, that uh, as we climb the mountain together, we, we'll be able to, to let God's Word reflect back to us uh, what He sees. And, and some of the stuff that we see here is really remarkable, like things like, uh, I, I knew you before uh, I even made the world, and I chose you. Uh, I chose you to be holy and without fault in my eyes. That's amazing. That, that's an amazing thought, that he adopted us, that he chose us, that, that he, uh, he made us his own. All those things we see in the book of Ephesians, that's what, that's what it tells us about our soul. So... Uh, yeah, let it encourage you. Be strengthened by it uh, this week. Uh, we're one week into it. How about that? Uh, continue to spend, a t again, break it into small parts, 10 minutes a day. Uh, close that book and thank God that I'm speaking to you. Take care. Let's see what happens.